Sorry, I got a little cut off there on the first video. Um, so as I was saying, uh, this is going to be my part two for my uh, review and opinions on the Sony MDR XB80 BSs. They are uh, new Bluetooth headphones made by Sony, meant for working out, uh, nice and portable. Um, and so back to what I was saying. These buttons are very difficult to press, so more than likely, you will be relying on your cell phone to change songs. It's just not easy. These buttons aren't easy to press, and the fact that this, uh, the, the majority of the headphone sits behind your ear, and so you're going to be hurting yourself if you're going to be using these buttons right here. Uh, but really, biggest gripe right there about these headphones is just the placement of the buttons. I, you know, they, they didn't have much to work with, but... I don't know. I just feel like they could have done these buttons a little bit differently. Um, maybe a little easier to press. Maybe that would have been nicer. Um, on another note, I've had these for a little while now. I've had these for two days. And I can honestly tell you, I've been vigorously listening to these things. Uh, reason one being that audio quality is just fantastic on these headphones. The bass is just deep and rich. It's going to be comparable uh, to their bigger, like the 950 headphones, the MDR XB 950s, um, just in a smaller package. The bass is just crazy on these things. And so is the treble. You get that nice reverberation after the bass. Uh, if you listen to rap and dubstep and electronica, things like that, these things are for you. Um, if you're looking for a good bass heavy Bluetooth earbud, do not look any further. These are them right here. Don't even don't even check out the beats. You don't need these right here are the headphones you want if you're looking for a good bass heavy high quality audio fidelity headphones. These are them right here. Music sounds fantastic. If you use music services like Google Music and uh, Apple Music and all that stuff, you're going to get that high fidelity sound out of these that you're paying for, and that's awesome. Um, even high quality music on YouTube sounds really, really good on these things. Um, and that's where that LDAC really, really comes in handy. Um, number two, I have found that battery life on these things has been really, really great. I've been pretty much listening to these every opportunity I have. Um, mind you, I'm a college student, so walking between classes, uh, just running chores, walking around the house, going to the gym, uh, you know, X, Y, Z, I've been using these headphones, and so far, I haven't even had to recharge them. I've just been using these things out of the box the last two days, um, and no low battery warning or anything yet, so, so far, so good. I think they've, they've done a lot better than the Power Beats that I have, which they lasted me the first day, and I had to recharge them, and even then, the battery life was just, eh, um, but Sony has just been really good about putting really good long-lasting batteries into their Bluetooth headphones, and so kudos to them for, uh, for doing the same with these. Um, and so final kind of tidbit that, that I feel like Sony could have improved on with these headphones, uh, was giving them a dedicated app. Um, it would be really nice to be able to turn on and off the bass booster like you could on other Bluetooth headphones that they have. Um, it would also be nice to be able to uh, fluctuate the music fidelity based on your on your tastes. I know Sony, they have, they have their own preferences. They program these headphones to work the way that they believe that they should be worked. They're kind of taking a Beats by Dre uh, cue there. Um, but I don't necessarily agree with it. I think if they gave you an app that allowed you to control the bass, the treble, um, the voice quality, things like that, these would be just A1 right here. These would be top-notch. And that's not to say that they're, you know, subpar headphones. I love these things so far. Um, they're probably going to be my day-to-day -day headphones for a while. Um, but I just wish there was a little bit more customizability to them. Um, but otherwise, that's all I got for now, folks. Um, so if you have any questions, comments, anything like that, feel free to comment, um, and also subscribe, because I got more videos coming your way, I just got a Moto Z and a bunch of other cool tech that I'm going to be reviewing, uh, so please hit up my channel, let me know what you think about my videos, and, uh, send me some love. Peace out, guys.